Now, before I do a new song from Schoolhouse Rock Earth, I want to do one of the old grammar songs because this is the first time we ever had a sequel. You know what a sequel is? Like you make a movie and then it's so popular that you make another one that happens later on. So I'm gonna do the original, The Tale of Mr. Morton. Mr. Morton was a kind of a fat little guy and he was kind of shy, but he fell in love with the girl next door. And at the end of The Tale of Mr. Morton, he, ma he marries Pearl. And then I'll sing you the song that we made up 10 years later after they're married and happily living on Elm Street. Not Elm Street, well, some street. This is the tale of Mr. Morton. Mr. Morton is who? He is the subject of our tale. And the predicate says what Mr. Morton must do. Mr. Morton walked down the street. Mr. Morton walked. Mr. Martin talked to his cat. Mr. Martin talked. Mr. Martin was lonely. Mr. Martin was. Mr. Martin is the subject of the sentence, and what the predicate says he does. Mr. Martin knew just one girl. Mr. Martin knew. Mr. Martin grew flowers for Pearl. Mr. Martin grew. Mr. Martin was very shy. Mr. Martin was. Mr. Martin is the subject of the sentence. And what the predicate says, he does. The subject is a noun. That's a person, that's a thing that tells you what the sentence is about. The predicate is a verb. That's the action verb. That gets the subject up and out. Mr. Martin wrote Pearl a poem. Mr. Martin wrote. Replied in the afternoon, Pearl replied by note. Mr. Martin was very nervous. Mr. Martin was. Mr. Martin is the subject of the sentence. What the predicate says he does. The cat says the sun beat down. The neighbor chased his kid. So the cat is the tennis to stop to take what the subject did. Mr. Martin knocked on her door. Mr. Martin knocked. Mr. Martin sat on her porch. He just sat and rocked. Mr. Martin was a nervous man. When she opened up the door, he ran. Mr. Martin climbed up his stairs. Mr. Martin climbed. Mr. Morton rhymed pretty words. Mr. Morton rhymed. Mr. Morton was lonely. Mr. Morton was until Pearl showed up with a single rose. Who said women can't propose? Mr. Morton is happy. And Pearl and the cat are too. They are the subjects of the sentence. And what the predicate said, they do. So they got married, and now they live an ordinary life on a quiet street in Pearl and Mr. Martin, and they have a son named Norton, and they have a cat named Orton. <laughs> and they're living a quiet life until one night when they're watching television, they hear about global warming. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Global warming, they know. Oh. It means all the things you can do. The name of this song is The Little Things We Do. Because you can do a lot of little things around your own house to help out with the situation, which is pretty serious, I guess. So here's the new song called The Little Things We Do. A one, two, a one, two, three. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Martin was important or important, but he lived an ordinary life. He had a son named Norton, a cat named Orton, and Pearl was his wife. Pearl liked to shower about an hour. Little Norton never turned off lights, and as for Orton the cat, he wouldn't scat. They turned up the thermostat. One night the Mortons all were watching television when they heard the news. Due to global warming caused by energy consumption, the Earth has got the blues. The seas are rising, the Arctic's melting, we have got to set the world to right. And even Orton the cat dropped his rap, stared at the thermostat. Must be something we can do, must be something we can try. Tomorrow, man, maybe hard and blood, an ordinary guy can be important with a capital I. I can turn out the lights when they're not in use. Unplug things, keep using juice. Instead of arriving where I like, I can take the bus or walk or bike. Instead of turning up the thermostat, I can put on a sweater and hug the cat. Take my ball back to the grocery store, and when I shower, I'll keep it short. Oh, it's the little things we do. You and I. That's important, by and by. Oh, it's the little things we do. If we try, it's important, with a capital I. I can plant a tree, keep the house real cool. Carpool when I go to school. Take that little picture, mow my grass with a real push mower. Talk to friends and neighbors, too, about how to help and what to do now. Mr. Martin, Norton, and Pearl, and even the cat are saving the world. Oh, it's the little things we do that can save the world by and by. Oh, it's the little things we do if we try. It's important with a capital I. The Martins may be ordinary people, but they're working at their new routine. Mr. Martin's head of neighborhood recycling. The whole town is going green. Ordinary, well, not so very. It's important, and I'll tell you why. They're saving energy now, knowing how. Parting with the capital I. I, I. And even Orton the cat gets a pat when he turns down the thermostat. Good cat, Orton. Good cat. <laughs> okay, kids, we're gonna do an old grammar song. I know this is your favorite, and you're gonna sing along with me. It's called Conjunction Junction. Woo! What's your function? Woo! 